Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you are doing great. Welcome to Linux Mint YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Java on your Ubuntu operating system, on your latest Ubuntu 20.04 operating system. So first of all, we're going to log into our system. I'm going to put in my password here. And when I would log in, I would just simply go ahead, press Control Alt T. I would open up my terminal. So simple as that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And in here, there are two methods to install Java, the latest Java or the latest JDK. One is that you go directly to their website and you download the packages for the Linux and then you unzip them and then you basically install them. The other way is to add the Linux Uprising repository and then installing Java JDK using the commands. So we're going to follow the command line process and we're going to add the Uprising Java repository and then we're going to install it. So first of all, all you have to do is that you have to update the repository first so it is going to ask you for the password. So put in your password and update the repository. Make sure because this is a compulsory step. All right, so once you have updated your repository, now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna write here a simple command to add the repository. So you'd write here sudo add and then hyphen and then app hyphen repository and then you're going to write here ppa colon then you write here linux uprising and then you write here slash java you hit enter and now it's going to add this repository so it would ask you press enter to continue or control c to cancel adding it so i want to add this repository so what i would do i would just hit enter so when i would press enter it would start to work and after that it would take a while to add this repository. Alright, so once you are done adding repository, now what you need to do is that you need to write here a command. But before that, I would tell you to update your repositories again. So you write here sudo apt update again. And once you do that, once the update is complete, after that, you're going to run the command to install Java. So you'd write here sudo apt install oracle and then you'd write here the latest version at the time of the making of this video is Java 14. All right. So we'll write here Java 14 and then we write here installer. Okay. So now you hit enter. It is going to ask you if you want to continue to install Java. So you press Y and then hit enter. So when you would hit enter, you can see that it is right now installing. Until then, I press control alt t open another terminal and here I show you if the Java is installed or not. So I write here Java hyphen hyphen version and you can see that it has not recognized Java and it says that Java is not installed or the command not found, right? And the only reason is that because Java is not installed yet. So it is installing right now, but the installation has not completed. That's why it is giving us this error. So once you can see the installation process reaches up to a certain mark, you would see this page in which it says configuring Oracle Java 14 installer. Okay, so you must agree to the license. So for that, what you would do, you would just hit okay. And here it would ask you, do you accept the Oracle Technology Network License Agreement for Oracle Java SE terms? Hit yes. And now it would show you the progress bar, 69% uh, and it's basically uh, installing, it is installing the Java JDK 14. All right. So we'll wait. All right, so now you can see that our JDK has been installed. But one thing that is certain here that uh, our JDK is not default yet. So the idea is that your system can have multiple JDKs 
installed at a time. So how do you know that which JDK is going to be default or which JDK you're going to be using? So, so for example, if I have JDK 14, JDK 11 and JDK 8, so I have three JDKs in my system, right? So I got to choose that which uh, JDK I'm going to make default. All right. So in order to do that, what do we have is that we have this JDK default package. So that that's what we're going to do. We're going to install a JDK default package. So we're going to just write here sudo apt install and then we're going to write here Oracle. Then we're going to write here Java 14 and then we're going to write here hyphen set hyphen default. All right. So I'm going to hit enter and now it is basically going to set the Java JDK 14 as default. All right. So how do you know if Java has been installed or not? So uh, all you have to do is that you have to write here Java and then hyphen hyphen version. So you hit enter and here you can see that all the details about Java um, have been shared here. So the same thing you can do here as well java hyphen hyphen version and you would see that we have java 14.01 installed another thing if you want to check if java c is working java c is basically uh, the library responsible for running the java programs okay so if you want to check that as well you can do that and here you can see that java c is 14.0.1 so that's how you basically install uh, Java on your Ubuntu 20.04. Hope you have liked this video. You have enjoyed it. For written articles, you can always visit our website linuxin.com. Thank you so much for watching.